All right, we're back. This is a terror mission. I've stopped logging the dates and the number of missions because um, things. It, this is a terrible map for a terror mission. It's very cramped, and the cover sucks. So I don't know what I'm meant to do. I could probably try to take that tile with the infantry. I'm on the move. Um, we do have a flying suit. Oh, that's fucking awesome. My brain just registered how cool that is on this map. Uh, have we done any missions on this map where we had to start from this position? I don't think so. Moving out. This is the first of this campaign. Move order confirmed. But it's like we finally have all the tools to make the map playable from this direction. Okay. We don't want to lose all the civvies, but we're like not too concerned about saving a bunch of them. I don't like the, what that thin man's doing. So, um, how do we handle? We do this first. How many drones? Four drones. That's all the drones. Okay. So we just do this. Okay. I was hoping it would kill all of them, but we're going to have to suppress the kill. I'm on it, Commander. I am not in vision. Well, I am in vision. So this is going to get skittered. Whatever, fuck it. Okay. You skitter a second one? No, you can't, because you can't see me, idiot. Okay. Get outplayed. Aha. All right. Now we go here. Four tiles, 4.6 tiles. I think on, with Commander. this, it can't figure out how Come to on. get me. Um, we've got 77, we'll just take the shot. Nope, sucks to suck. Okay. Suck. It's fine. It's whatever. Oh, cool. Alright. So I have to heal myself anyway. Crystals are far away. Take one more turn to get to us. Here we go. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, I should have uh, dealt with that first. Shit. Taking so much unnecessary damage. Okay, now, um, so the play is to go grenade you guys, right? Something like that. I don't need to grenade there. So let's go. 
What's my range? It doesn't actually show range. Okay. We go here. I can get the drones. I can get everybody. Alright. This is perfect. Now. Can't fly very high. Oh, I guess it's because the map. Uh huh. 89. 100. Bam. Okay. How much throw range do I have? I have pretty decent throw range. Okay, so I probably step up here. Got it. So we take this reload, we do this, we go up here. Here, berserker. One berserker. Heading there now. And we do this. Can we do this? Oh my god, I can't do the thing. I want to chuck it over the. Whatever. We'll do this. Um, now, I would like to there now. take this opportunity do this, because I don't want no 90% shots no more. Fuck you. Good. Got a lot of heat on me. Dick. Okay. Minimal exterior damage detected. All right. So you've got. You can't do shit to me. This is a rocket. Do I want to save the civilian? Okay. Maybe I save the civilians. Where can I put suppression? No danger zone targets. Okay, I only have two shots. Um, hmm. Alright, look. If I go over here, that's like really good grenades. So, I think what I want to do then, alright, change of plan. Let's rocket. God. I think I rock it next turn. Oh, I can't even see the Berserker. Shit. Alright. Reload. Didn't get a proc. Do this. 90. Problem solved. You're dead. Now I can go up with you. Take this and just launch a grenade onto you guys. And 
then... Ninety-seven. No, I don't gotta do any of that. We're gonna go over here. And shoot this. Bye. Okay. Now... We're gonna grenade then here. Okay, five chrysalids, four mutons. We can back up. Pursuit, pursuit, okay. And then we can just go and reload Overwatch. We can even shoot down there. Okay, good acid tech. God damn, dude. Why do you suck so hard? Dude, are you kidding me? I think you just deserve to die. I'm not even gonna shoot this guy. <sighs> joke. What an absolute joke. Armor systems are holding steady. get shot you cannot get shot Scanning. all right we're doing this take a reload all right um do this 75 probably this heat overwatches see if i care and punch four chrysalids so this is two of them maybe i don't maybe i do okay heading to that location approaching to engage Are we going to win this time? Good. Press. My weapon's almost gone. So just the two chrysalids left. Continue to shoot you. Is the Rocketeer casually solo on a, um, a guy? Let's, um, let's end you. Alright, 
and let's go over here. Actually, you know what I'm gonna do? I think I'm gonna. Hmm. Nah. Let's go here. I'm on the move. Put up Overwatch like this. Moving to Overwatch. Then go here. Running. See if I can get you to run. And then, um, I can actually do, well, do I need to? I feel like I don't need to do any of that. In fact, I'm going to run away. Um, Already there. Yeah. Because I don't want to accidentally damage the mech suit. Okay. Up here and reload. Get to the ship and keep your head down. Back in. This shot. See you in hell. Then ready to fire. That's a civilian, not a muton. Position confirmed. Good to go. There now. Ready to fire. Staying put. Taking fire over here. Okay. Out of ammo. I'm rolling. Moving out. I guess I should have just suppressed just for the shred. Guns dry. Okay, we did the terror mission. And a terrible map for a terror mission. We got money, we stopped some panic. Sure. As well Whatever. As this one did. Take this. Um, take this. Stuff. We Stuff. Will be in touch, Commander. A soldier. Wait. Oh, because homie's fatigued. Yeah, the base. base thing really messes with a lot of the planning um commander we've lost some of our satellite we are now unable to detect any UFO contacts in that area does it multiply everything Interesting. So air combat patrols are actually very effective in the late game. Interesting. All right, we're going to get a terrorized populace. It did something. Nope, sorry. Um, how's our gallop chamber? In one day. In one day. Now, the question is, do we wait on fatigue? I guess we have the option. Right, once the gallop chamber is ready, then we can 
choose to wait for anyone we need for the final mission. And then let's just sit on that screen. Acquire research, ignore. Doesn't matter, they can't do any more research. They're locked at AL9. Um, Gollop Chamber, it's ready, okay. Gallop Chamber is ready. Now let's look at the barracks. So it's going to be McAuliffe, Marauder, Yelenik Sniper, Crenshaw Gunner, Van Dorn Gunner, Tariq, Rocketeer, Durand, Medic, count six. We're going to take Fox, Shogun, that's seven. Um, Hawkins, that's eight. And then Watson, that's nine. So we really want to wait three days, ideally. Is that even possible? Contact detected. Okay. We're going to ignore. Panic in Australia. India has immediately withdrawn. It doesn't matter as long as we have at least one country left. Fox is ready. Ignore the abductions. I don't care. Australia is gone. We're still fine. We have Japan and Egypt. Waiting on Watson one day and Hawkins 17 hours. Okay, we're losing Egypt as well. It's fine. Destroy satellite in India. Okay. So this is fine. Actually, I think this is where we have to go. Because as soon as they shoot down the satellite over India, it panics the rest of the continent. So this is the moment. Gallup chamber. Yep. We're going to go with... We can't. We need to wait five hours. Hawkins is ready. Wait, they shoot shot down a satellite over India. It didn't matter. The satellite was already gone. Okay, so we can actually wait for Watson then. Um, seven hours on Watson. I think we're fine. Watch the cutscene. With each of our major victories, we have encountered incrementally more powerful aliens. After the first alien craft was shot down, they began a campaign of terror. The alien forces were led by a sectoid commander, a powerful psionic creature. Upon capturing the hyperwave beacon, we detected a cloaked ship carrying a being of incredible psionic power. Having captured the device it sacrificed itself to protect, an immense alien ship has now appeared within our atmosphere. We can only assume that a being of even greater psionic power is on board this vessel. We have already pushed human evolution so far, and I fear where the next step will take us. Our enemy leaves us with no other choice. A new type of weapon is required. At long last. You have succeeded where we have failed. Okay. Now let's do quick um, promotion management. We're going to take extra conditioning here. Three extra HP means we can use Psy Overload a little bit more. And then here we're taking extra conditioning on Vendorn. And then nobody else needs promotions because they're not coming on the mission. Okay. Um, a soldier has already used the device mission control. Assault the temple ship. All right, so let's look at the loadout. It's going to be Marauder Shogun. We're going to take Yelenik as Sniper. We're going to take 
um, Crenshaw as support gunner. We're going to take Van Dorn as DPS gunner. This is literally the first mission Van Dorn is going to do on this campaign. Um, it's uh, kind of exciting. We, we just sat him in the barracks this whole time, got him to Master Sergeant just off OTS experience. Annette is going to go and be... Honestly, actually, Anton might be better. So Annette has higher will, but Anton has 11 more aim and more mobility and more health. And when it comes to actually hitting the... Hmm. Anton doesn't have Psy Mastery. But I actually think that 11 aim is kind of clutch. Let's bring Anton this time. Sorry, Annette. Um, and then we're bringing Jamie Watson from the Hutch mission. And then final spot is going to be Said Tariq. Okay. So now the loadout. Let me pull up my notes because I uh, figured this out one night. Um, okay. So first of all, you get the Elmec 3 particle cannon. KSM. We're going to put down a gravity mine launcher and a grenade launcher. Okay. It's going to be a st not a stellarator. You're going to take core plating and you're going to take the thumper. Um, and I had in mind we're going to make battle computers. But I guess if we're not making battle computers, then I guess you just get a scope. Or a trophy. Probably just a scope. We're suffering a little bit in the mobility department, but I think like having the gravity mine launcher is important enough. Okay. Now you get particle cannon. And we're going to take a grenade launcher and then a gravity mine launcher. And then we're going to take heavy mags and core plating. If we had a mech 3, I would consider taking a thumper KSM on uh, this person as well. The alternative was I thought about a... Um, whatchamacallit, restorative mist, because we do have Packmaster, um, but we didn't get enough resources in time to get the thing. Okay, so you get the Seraph Armor, and you get Arc Pistol, then you get Prediction Computer and Plasma Stellarator. Cool. Um, then you get an Aurora Armor. This is our budget version of the um, because we couldn't afford another Vortex. We didn't have um, enough whatchamacallits, uh, meld, among other things. Okay. And then Hawkins, we're going to give you a Plasma Strike Rifle and a Plasma Pistol. Um, and we're going to give you the um, Cog Enhancer. Um, so the rationale here is I'm not taking a Marksman Scope, even though it would be nice. It's I just want to make sure this soldier isn't getting shot at and killed, because um, that just fails the mission. So here we're going to go Aurora Armor on the Sniper. Interesting choice, right, right. Um, we're going to go Neural Scope, and we're going to go Stellarator, and we're going to go, um, where's my thing, where's my thing, where's my, what am I looking for? I'm looking for Conduit, there we go, cool. Now, Mr. Van Dorn gets a Seraph Armor, gets the Nova Gun, because we're going to be uh, an Overwatcher. And then gets a prediction computer and a plasma stellar. And the question is, you know, why, why an Overwatch gunner versus just another Overwatch infantry? It's because they have shredder ammo. So um, I just have a, a universal shred that can dumpster mech. Yeah, so that's pretty good. And then here we're taking a stellarator because. Um, Anton is responsible for basically killing the ethereal and for any sectoid commanders along the way. So we do this. Now, Crenshaw, Crenshaw has a very important job of carrying the proc sensor. Um, and we decided, right, we're taking the Titan armor and so we're taking respirator instead of a, um, a plating. Okay. Checking the loadout one last time. It looks like we have everyone. All right. 
this is a much stronger squad than what I fielded the last recorded campaign. So purely in theory, we're just gonna steamroll this mission. We'll see. All right. Well, it's been a journey, certainly. Um, and, uh, I mean, it has been a pleasure. I've done a lot of complaining. I have some pretty pointed thoughts. Maybe we'll go over them after the campaign is over. But in any case, um, it's been a pleasure. Thanks for tuning in, and I will see some of you next time. Peace.